Hi, um, my name is Jenny Gibbons. Um, I'm an artist here in Westport. Um, we're in the print room here at the Custom House Studios while the exhibition and the opening is going on. Um, I'm primarily a printmaker. Um, I've been teaching printmaking classes here at the Custom House um, for since the place really opened eight, nine years. Um, so I've had the great opportunity to uh, teach and work with um, many of uh, the artists that live in the area. Um, as far as uh, my own work, uh, it's um, conceptual in nature. Um, I, I try to use art um, and found materials as a way of questioning the value of art. Um, monetary and socially, intellectually. Um, so that's kind of the driving force of the architecture that, uh, that my work hangs on. And um, having just come back from America, um, New York City where I grew up, um, I'm really reminded of the incredible wealth of creativity um, here in Westport and in the west of Ireland. Uh, it's, it's still amazing to me that a small town in a rural agricultural area is home to uh, so many artists, writers, poets. Um, but I think we're all here for the same reason. Uh, the, the space to work, uh, the physical and intellectual space to work uh, that you find out here. Um, and the uh, impractical uh, issues, uh, the ability to uh, maybe buy an old cottage or some outbuildings to have a studio. Um, it's much more uh, feasible uh, here than it would be in a major uh, city or, or area um, of uh, um, suburbia in those kind of places. But, How did you pick Westport? Um, I picked Westport uh, at first because um, my great-grandparents uh, were, uh, were born and lived in Kilauea, which is about 12 miles outside the city. So that was my first draw. Um, I was one of the plain loads of Americans who come and knock on doors and say, Hi, I'm your family. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, so nothing uh, really out of the ordinary um, in that sense. But once I was here, um, I just felt right to be here. And did you knock on the door? I did. And was there anybody there that you knew? There were. I, I have fifth, uh, fifth cousins, um, a little bit closer than Obama, I'd say. He's, mm -hmm. what, eight or nine, so I'm a bit closer. Um, and, uh, you know, so that was uh, a fascinating and rather shocking thing um, to experience. Um, and. Uh, you know, to meet and talk with a fifth cousin that was the spitting image of my brother. Um, you know, so that is uh, a connection uh, that doesn't seem to break down um, until uh, much later in family histories. And what age were you when you came here first? Um, uh, roughly, roughly. Uh, well, I came as a pure tourist in 84. Um, and. I was maybe uh, 25, yeah. uh, something like that, uh, and it was just, uh, just a tourist uh, vacation, but even then um, I had the sense that uh, I needed to come here and make art about this place, but just a few weeks of um, vacationing wasn't enough um, that I needed to really soak in this environment. Um, so after graduate school, I uh, applied for a Fulbright Fellowship um, to come and work for a year, and I was fortunate enough to get it. Um, and after that year, the fifth cousin of mine said, would you like to live here? And I didn't answer at first, but um, the answer became yes. Um, and the day before uh, we left to go back to our jobs, um, in America, we put down a, uh, a deposit on an old cottage, um, and then it all just led from there. And I've now been uh, uh, in Ireland for 20 years, and 
And what do you think of Westport as a place to live in? Um, I love Westport. And, um, and what do you like about it? I like that uh, the shop owners know me, I know them. Um, I like... I like the old town because it's uh, it's not anything like the town I grew up in. Um, and while I lived in um, you know up, upper middle class uh, wealthy area, um, it's it's a place of uh, great starvation as far as culture is involved. You know, so history and culture, which is tremendous in Westport, uh, was a real draw for me. Good. So you're going to stay another while? I think so, yeah. And you're going to teach for another while? Um, I hope that I always have teaching because it's, it's such a reward to be able to do it and have the opportunity to do it. Well, we hope you stay around for another while. Okay.